Brian McClain with Master Fire Prevention here at the crossroads of the world, Times Square in New York City for a brand new McDonald's opening. It's going to be super modern, and they want to make sure they get all of their wet chemical fire suppression systems not just installed, but we thought we'd tell you about some of the new regulations going into effect in July 2023 as well as October. In a nutshell, if your tech uh, works on your system, he not only has to prove that he has a certain certification, but he needs to carry it for each one of the different manufacturers, as does the company that he works for. And so that way, when uh, an inspector shows up and they look at your system, it matches up in their uh, list of approved technicians with the specific system you have. So we're going to talk to Angela Santos and Justin Martinez about the new regulations right now. Main point of these S17 regulations that are coming out is to make sure that the company that are servicing your fire system are trained, authorized by the manufacturer, and have a certificate from the fire department. In other words, you want to make sure that someone working on your Ansel system is not trained just by kiddo. Now this is where it all starts, the Ansel system. There are 13 items on this checklist, and it starts with making sure that your system is in the right place, and then you have to make sure that the cylinder, the nozzles, and the piping is all intact. Let's take a look under the hood, literally. Here are the 360 degree fusible links that will automatically activate your system. Once the system activates, it will distribute the agent through the piping, out the nozzles, therefore suppressing the fire. Simultaneously, your gas will shut off and the fire department will be called if it's hooked up to the central station. There can't be any damage to the system visible and from the fusible links to the nozzle caps, everything has to be clean and intact. It is very important for the nozzle cap to be installed. This prevents the grease from getting into the piping and the orifice and clogging it. Each manual activation device cannot be obstructed and that goes also for the tamper-proof indicators. They have to be sealed. Do not move any cooking equipment without letting your fire suppression company uh, know about it. Whenever you remove or move the equipment under the, from the protection of the nozzle, you are tampering with the fire system. You're going to be in violation. The fire department is going to say that you altered the plants. We want you to be very careful when you have cooking equipment that have wheels. They usually come off the position of the nozzle spraying over it. The fire department requires you to put a, a yellow tape or you to paint a yellow line in front of the wheels when they when it is in place. So when they come off, you could see it and you could put it back into place. Each manual pull station cannot be obstructed. For example, if you had to shut here in the way, this would be a violation. Right? Wrong. The New York City Fire Department requires you to have photo fire extinguishers in your kitchen. There is one that is designed for grease fire, which is the K class. It has the same chemical as a fire suppression, and it's supposed to be mounted on the wall. It's not supposed to be on the floor. Now remember, every fire protection services contractor needs to carry a unique certification for each manufacturer. So Buckeye, Range Guard, Ansel, Kidda, Irochem. If you're a technician, you need to get each one of those certifications starting July of 2023. And the principals, or the companies that these technicians work for, like Master Fire, has to have all of those unique certifications in place by October. Regardless, monthly, if you are being inspected, your wet chemical fire suppression system, whichever manufacturer it is, needs to match the certification for the technician that worked on it. This tag right here is what the inspectors need to see. Well, we've learned a lot about S17 and the new regulations going into effect this July and again in October for technicians, principals, and of course you, the commercial cooking customer. Whether it's a restaurant, a bodega, deli, or a food service franchise like this one here in McDonald's, you need to be on these. Justin, what can our customers do? Reach out to us and we'll provide you with a free inspection checklist as well as food cleaning instructions for your system. Or you can call us at 718-828-6424. And of course, you can always look us up on the web at www.masterfireprevention.com.